Hi everyone, my name is Neil Bolger and today I'm going to talk a little bit about eQuest and show you how to change the weather file for an eQuest simulation. So here we have, uh, I've opened eQuest 365 and I've opened a project that I'm currently working on and in eQuest, if you would like to change the weather file you're running with, um, you can do that by going to the Projects and Sites tab. And in the component tree, you'll find all the different components for this current project. If you don't see the component tree at the bottom, your simulation might be in the Actions tab. Uh, so in component tree, at the very, very top, just double click the project the highest icon on the project tree. Up will come this project properties. And in here, uh, it lists the file reference. So here you can see weather file, and it's pointing to a folder called TMY3 and has a weather file that says CA California Mountain View Moffitt.bin. BIN is a eQuest weather file type. So this file and folder actually live in your personal documents. Depending on where you have installed eQuest, that weather file and that TMY3 file will live either in all users directory or just in your own personal documents. Here I have it installed locally to my own machine so I click on documents from my Windows Explorer navigator and here under eQuest 365 data there's a folder in here called weather. And so in this folder right now I actually don't have my weather file. The only ones I have are these two folders. So I have a folder called TMY2 and Seattle WA which is also .bin. So for instance if I wanted to use this I would have to go back into eQuest. Let's try and use this Seattle weather file. So I'm going to delete the current one that's referenced. The one I have was in TMY2. I'm going to paste the name of the file and it's .bin. So now if I hit close, eQuest will prompt you and ask a question saying that since you've changed the weather file, likely you would like to change the latitude and longitude or time zone and things like that. So it says, would you like to look at those properties? You hit yes. It'll bring this up. I'm actually not going to change these. You notice I don't even have latitude and longitude defined. You actually don't really need them to run the model. Um, I'm going to go ahead and hit run and hit the yellow button. Um, but what will happen if the latitude and longitude are not defined is eQuest will actually look at the weather file which has that information and use that instead of the inputs there. And it'll even find discrepancies. It might say, oh you specified one latitude, the weather file is a different one. We'll assume the weather file is correct. And that's usually in the output file. Um, but that's about it. So that was how to change the weather file. And now if we can stay here, hopefully the model will run. It's going to take a second to load. So it was pointing to a file that didn't exist and hopefully now, having manually entered a new file type, we will see the window pop up. And it is progressing. So there it goes, running through the year.